new episode of Matnam for May 2024. So like every month, I'm going to talk to you about um, photos I took with my apps, my computational photography app, but it's going to be a month a little bit different. Here's the three first pictures, not very different from other months. The so one in the middle and on the left, that's the same scene taken with Camare, one of my four apps, uh, and using the experimental editor. And the one on the right, that's a photo taken with a, in random mode, but that's taken with Vika, which is the other main photo app in my main four apps, which is Camare, Vika, Darkcam, and Digital Paula. Um, this month, I was I mainly was testing. Usually, I test random mode or I test new filters, new algorithms. Here, I was testing mainly the user experience between apps. Because the goal for those who use my apps, um, I had developed those apps because originally I was, I actually used apps from other makers like Hipsomatic or, or whatever, but I wasn't very uh, satisfied with uh, the end result of the user experience. So I started developing my own apps. Um, I used to do that before. Uh, for those uh, who don't know, I refer them to the Booty Machine project, which was pre-iPhone. But um, anyways, um, and and the concept behind was really the user experience, but also the image quality. And and here that was really for my work. And here that's two examples of uh, a preset I made with Camare, which I exported to Vika. Vika basically Camare does all. You can edit many of the options um, on the camera, but Vika is basically 10 cameras in which you can put a preset and, and work with them. So those two are taken with one preset. I've started working extensively with presets and trying to see if the feeling is good, if there's an homogeneous treatment of images, if it makes sense when I actually take the pictures. You know, like, uh, for example, I, I, I will take a Leica M3 camera, put a certain lens on it and a certain film. I want that feeling to be also in my apps when you use the apps. So I'm, I was really testing that this month. Here are two other pictures, detailed of Reykjavik, taken with the same preset. Um, here again, uh, close up, uh, macro, basically, or this um, this garden, this weird garden uh, in Reykjavik, or other two other details here. Um, I think it kind of worked. and. Um, I really did some ironing out this month. So so for those of you who already know my apps, who already have my apps, you've seen lots of updates um, this last month. And so you know what I'm talking about, really trying to make the, ex the exportation, importation process uh, flawless and the end results really be homogeneous between apps. Um, even so, the engine... The image engine is the same, but the apps are really radically different in, in their user experience. Um, here's three examples um, using the random mode of Camare, uh, taking pictures as usual, but here I was exporting those presets from Camare to other apps to see if it worked. Um, same here with the small from the 1970s, or well, it's probably more of the 1980s in Iceland. Uh, random mode, but I, I definitely exported the ones I liked to try to see if the feeling stayed when using Vika, Darkcam, or Digital Paula. Um, yeah, here again, um, two examples, basically, this um, urban scene on the left so, and this abstract scene edited three times, well, two, twice, and the editor, experimental editor of Camare. Uh, or here, uh, the same picture, middle and right, Camare and the experimental editor, or this um, cap camera capture of my computer screen, which I kind of found nice. I liked the result. So, yeah, basically I was testing the exportation of those presets in random mode that I liked. Um, again, and three other examples. The one on the left that's actually taken with Camare, random mode, that's um, an opening in a gallery, a conceptual contemporary art uh, gallery in Reykjavik. I uh, exported it, used it in Vika and Darkcam, see if it worked well in Digital Paula. Uh, the picture in the middle, that's um, a preset I had exported from Camare into Vika, that's taken with Vika, same thing for the image on the right. Here today I'm sharing basically pictures I kind of liked like every month, but in my process of really testing the apps, ironing the, the dance. 
Here are seven pictures taken with the same uh, preset uh, in Vika. See if it made sense, if it was homogeneous, if the results were made sense like they would if you had taken them with one roll of film, film in one camera uh, in the analog world. Or here are two pictures taken with Vika, same thing. I was testing, see, seeing if things worked out. Picture on the left, that's, um, I was presenting photo books at the um, Reykjavik uh, Art Book Festival. Uh, photo books uh, from all my projects, a really great festival. Um, but I liked the results, and I liked those two pictures. Um, the picture of me holding a cup of coffee too. Here again, three pictures, two middle and left, that's taken with Kamare. Picture on the right, taken with Bika. So basically, if I know what apps I used, but I was trying to see if um, things worked out. Things were working technically on the technical level. Here's the same picture edited three times in the experimental editor of Kamare, and then exported to other apps. Again, the same cat um, through the editor, experimental editor of Kamare. Uh, on the right, just an example, I, I don't like pictures of myself, but I took this accidental selfie with the flash, and I kind of liked the treatment, so I exported the preset card um, because uh, I could find some better subjects and I could use this uh, this rendering because I kind of really liked it. I feel I feel I could use it really well for some other portraits. Um, here again, uh, middle and left, it's the same preset, except the one on the left that's with Vika and in the middle that's Kamari. I wanted to see if um, there was really some transformation that was going through in, in a controlled way. Picture on the right, that's just a picture I liked. Uh, the black and white treatment made sense for me. I kind of liked that picture. So that's why it's here. No other reason. Um, and here, basically for those who use my apps, you already, already know most of it, but you know, for years there's there's been this QR code with all the settings for a preset that you can then store on your computer uh, in the form of an image. You can actually print them if you want, uh, if you want to keep your files in the real world. And then you could use them between the four apps, my four apps. Um, that's with uh, uh, dark cam, obviously. You've known this for a long time in random mode. Um, picture in the middle, that's random mode of Kamare. Picture on the right, that was me while testing Kamare. And actually, the last two pictures for this month, um, that picture, I was putting the exporting mode for the preset cards. Uh, I was making it. So that's the two first cards that came out with no other indications in the QR code. So you actually have, if you if you take a picture of the of the screen um, of your computer screen of this YouTube video, you, you should have access to the treatment here. And yeah, so hopefully that wasn't too much of a weird episode. Uh, hopefully a little bit entertaining. Um, it's probably the last one where you won't have access to the image characteristics in the form of those preset cards. For those who already have the apps, you've seen all the updates in the last months or so, and you already know those preset cards. You can actually find them on the social networks. Um, for example, the Instagram Camari account um, has many of those already. Um, so yeah, in the months to come, I will continue doing the Matnam presentations, but uh, I'll basically show you pictures taken with a certain preset and you'll have access to the preset. So yeah. Anyhow, if you have questions, comments, suggestions, as usual, don't hesitate. I'll be happy and yeah, catch you next time. Mm -hmm.